Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Big Warm, welcome back, hope you're all doing well today. As you can see, today's video is going to be a what my two year old got for his birthday and a bit of a gift, toy, ideas for two year olds. Some of these are actually toys that he didn't get for his birthday, but are just really great developmental toys that I wanted to share. I'm just gonna bring you a little bit closer because I felt really far away. As you can see, it was my little boy's second birthday yesterday. People have been asking what he got and I've been meaning to film a toy video for a while, so it's perfect timing. All the toys that you see in today's video are gonna be linked in my Amazon store. My Amazon store is always linked in my description box. So just scroll down to the description box, you'll find my Amazon store and all of the toys will be in there. So let's, let's get going. I'm gonna start with this one, seeing as he is sat right next to me. I obviously tried to get some footage of my son playing with each of these toys this morning, but typically <laughs> he was in absolutely no mood to cooperate. I think he's got a bit of a birthday hangover from yesterday. He's just gone down for a nap early. This one here, this is an early learning center toy. It's basically a toy post box. And inside you get lots of different colored letters, but there's so much to this toy. So in each of the envelopes, there is a letter with a matching color and there is also a stamp. So this toy is so great for developing color matching because they have to find the matching color to go with the envelope. But loves doing this when he's in the mood. <laughs> also great for fine motor and coordination because they have to slip the letter into that little gap there, push it down, and then find the stamp to match as well. The stamps also have numbers on them. So as they get a little bit older, it is also number matching as well, where they can match the numbers together and pop it on there. It also comes with a dice that I can't find, but for when they get older as well, you can roll the dice and that determines what color they have to put together. Then when they get even older, like my eldest son, when he plays this with my little boy, he can obviously read the letters to him. This is a real sort of staple toy in our house. Next one I'll show you was a new one that we got yesterday and I didn't know about this toy. It was my mum that actually found this, my mum and dad, and gave it to him yesterday. This is a Melissa and Doug toy and it is all about coordination and fine motor because there are a lot of latches on here that need to be opened in order to be able to open the doors. Like I just said, my little one loves opening doors, posting things, so again, pretty sure that's why my parents picked this for him. Also obviously got a lot of colors on there, so there's, you're teaching colors at the same time, and I don't know if you can see, but the doors have numbers on them, and then if you open a door, like door number five here, that is the correct number of animals behind each door. So there's a lot of elements of learning and development that go with this toy. At the moment, he is just really enjoying opening and shutting the doors. But as he becomes more familiar with the toy, obviously he only got it yesterday, I'm sure he'll start noticing the numbers because he loves numbers. I just thought this was a really gorgeous toy. Next up is another favorite of mine, another staple developmental toy in our house. So the one that I've linked in my Amazon store is ever so slightly different to this. This one came in a play kit, a much larger play kit from Lovery. They, you can't order individual toys from them. You have to order a play kit that's targeted to your child's age. And this was part of one. However, on Amazon, I have found pretty much the identical toy and I've linked that for you. But this, again, is a toy all about coordination and color matching. So, if I slide the top off here, inside it is filled with loads of colored pegs. So the idea is, is that you have your board here. Now this comes with a few different pictures. Again, the one on my Amazon store also comes with different pictures. You choose whichever one you want your little one to be focusing on. The one on my Amazon store, I think, is actually pictures of animals and things, which is lovely. And then you have your board. I'm just gonna pop the board in here. And the aim of the game is to match the color pegs onto the right colors on the board here. And he's ever so good now at picking up the colors and popping them in the right 
place. I'm starting to say the colours as well at the same time. So I really thank my lucky stars for this toy. I think this has been a really key developmental toy in our house. It's quite satisfying to do as an adult as well, I must say. Next up, I'm going to show you his main sort of birthday present from yesterday, which was this toy market stall, which I'm going to show you just now on this video here. So I've had a lot of questions about this because I actually upcycled this. So here's what it looked like originally. It is from Studio. Now, at the time I bought it, and I believe at the time that I'm actually filming this video, it was half price. It was about £40, which is incredibly cheap the other ones i were looking at were, were nearer to 100 pounds so really really cheap and the quality is all there the only problem is it just didn't look quite the way that i wanted it to look it was going to go in my kitchen and i wanted it to really sort of blend in seamlessly so i took my hand to it i painted the sign at the top painted that black and i got clint to write a sort of shop sign on the top that says hartley and sons i got some little sort of like a hanging plant to go on the side this was just an ikea hanging plant that i think are about two pounds i just ripped it out of the pot and hung it on the side awning i think that's made the biggest bit of difference because it came with sort of a rainbow stripe awning and it just wasn't gonna go <laughs> in my kitchen i went to a fabric shop and i went to a table of offcuts most fabric shops will have uh, an area where they put their offcuts that they just need to get rid of and i just bought a little scrap of fabric for three pounds my auntie is a whiz with a sewing machine and she just quickly made that up for me so i could replace it and the little baskets the little sort of hessian baskets on the bottom i just thought they would really add to it and he actually loves them he loves taking them out taking things out putting things in so that was a really great part of the market store that I'm happy I got. They were from Amazon, so I will link those as well for you. So all in all, I got like a custom designed market store for probably, I don't know, like 60 pounds, which is pretty good. So the fruit and veg that is in the market is a separate, another toy that I'm gonna mention right now. So a lot of it is plastic. I think most of the fruit and veg in the bottom baskets is plastic. And then I wanted to invest in some proper sort of wooden, fruit and veg for him as well but i've got a couple of them here to show you these are such a brilliant toy for a little one they come with a little wooden knife as well so he can cut it in half but he does not stop playing with these he loves pulling them apart putting them back together brilliant for his fine motor his vocabulary if you follow me on instagram you'll know that his vocabulary has been taking a little while to come through obviously he turned two yesterday and we're really just starting to hear his voice properly now but this morning he's been going over to there picking them up saying carrot apple so it's really encouraging him also colors obviously he's looking at the colors talking about the colors really lovely detail okay this one here an alphabet puzzle first of all as you can see there are numerous letters missing i have absolutely not a blues clue where he has put them i have been searching high and low in here trying to find these missing letters. Remember that he only got this present yesterday. Where he's put them, I don't know. As I mentioned earlier, he loves posting things and hiding things and organizing things. So these could be anywhere, to be honest. But the few that I managed to find, this is a basic wooden alphabet puzzle. The one that I've linked in my Amazon store is not this identical one. This is actually one that I found in Lidl, but they're all the same and they all have the same idea. And he, as you can see from this video, he loves letters. For a little boy who has lit a very little vocabulary, he knows his letters and he knows his numbers. <laughs> he just really, really loves it. So he loves to pick up the letter, tell me what it is, go put it in a basket or put it somewhere else. He's really been enjoying playing with this toy. I'm really glad that I picked this up. Again, we've got the fine motor, the coordination of taking things in and out of the puzzle, the colors. It's just a really, really lovely toy. And if you were struggling on a gift idea to get a two-year-old, I think their first alphabet puzzle or number puzzle, which we also have one of those in here somewhere, I think would be a really lovely gift. A okay, next one was a present from yesterday. My brother and my sister-in-law got this present for Cooper. I'll show you properly on a video here because I can't hold it all at the same time. This is a game, a toddler color matching game from Amazon where it comes with loads of these colored dinosaurs and it comes with a colored pot to match each dinosaur. And the aim of the game is obviously to put the correct 
coloured dinosaurs in the correct pot. <laughs> but they are lovely quality, little sort of soft, not like silicon, but I don't know if they're rubber, but they're, they have a really lovely texture to them. And then there's, there's the same amount of dinosaurs that go in each one. It's actually a different dinosaur for each colour as well, which is a nice touch. I'm not gonna pretend that I know what each of these dinosaurs is called, but for example, the blue one is that. Stegosaurus. The red one is a little pterodactyl. Purple is a little T-Rex. See, I do know some dinosaurs. Again, this game also came with a little dice. Um, so when they get older, the game can become a bit more advanced. And yeah, there's a color dice and a number dice so that you could adapt the game to whatever you want to teach in that particular scenario. And it also comes with little tweezers as well. Again, for when they get a bit older, they could work on their pinching skills and use the tweezers to pick up each of the dinosaurs. Next up is again a present he got yesterday. I can't really pick this one up because it's massive. I can pick up parts of it. He got the Ninky Nog train, which I'll show you just in a video here. My mum and dad got this for him. But this toy is so cool if your little one is into the night garden like Cooper is. There are so many different parts to this train. So first of all, it's musical, the thing on the front. So the front of the train is musical and... they're cold. Okay, the front of the train is that. The middle train is probably his favourite bit so this bit opens up and inside you've got the little figures that fit inside of there and some shapes for shape sorting as well. And this spins round. He loves that bit. Yeah there's a lot of elements to this toy and I wasn't expecting there to be as much of that as there is to it. It's a really, really lovely toy. I did try to link this in my Amazon store, but um, I couldn't find it on Amazon. But I think my mum and dad got it from Argos. So check Argos or Smith's Toys. For some reason, it's not on Amazon, but it's definitely still available because I'm pretty sure she got it from Argos. Okay, the last toy suggestion that I was gonna share with you, which I think is perfect for a two-year-old is figures. So Cooper's actually been into play figures for a little while, a few months now, but this is a great age to start introducing pretend play. So he loves to get, these are Night Garden ones, but he's got like Fisher Price ones and all sorts of different figures in here. These are his Night Garden ones, which are lovely because they're really chunky, they're like really weighty, they stand up well. And he loves to just line up his little figures, and just make a little pretend scenario. I never know what's going on in his head when he's lining them all up or he lies them down sometimes like they're going to bed and they're starting to make up scenarios and stories and role play in their minds. It's really the start of proper play. So I think two is a brilliant age to start introducing little figures and encouraging them to you know, create a little imaginary scenario. Like I said, these are lovely ones. So I have linked these ones, but if your little one isn't into Night Garden, um, Fisher Price, Little People, Happy Land, they are lovely chunky little figures as well. Elmo, <laughs> I don't know whether this is Happy Land or Little People, but yeah, they kind of look like that, really nice and chunky. And we've got loads of those floating around as well. So I'll link those for you also. But there you go, guys. That is my two-year-old toy ideas gift guide video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. I have linked as much as I can in the Amazon store below. If it's not in there, it means it wasn't on Amazon. And hopefully I mentioned in the video where else you could get it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe. I upload three videos a week. And I will see you in my next one.